solar string inverters, micro inverters, and power optimizers. What's the best choice? Hi, I'm Finn Peacock, founder of Solar Quotes. There are three main components in a solar PV system. The panels, the racking stroke mounting, and the inverter. This video focuses on the inverter, whose job it is to convert the DC electricity generated by the panels into AC electricity that is used by your home. Now you've got three choices when it comes to inverters. String inverters, micro inverters and optimizer based systems, which are kind of a hybrid between string and micro inverter technology. If you've got a short attention span, here's my hot take. Micro inverters and optimizer based systems are more expensive than simple string inverters, but they have a variety of benefits that make them worth considering, especially if you have a shaded roof. Now, let's go into details. String inverters are roughly the size of a briefcase and they are mounted on a wall. All of the panels connect into them. For residential size systems, you'll only need one string inverter per solar system. They operate at high DC voltages, but they're perfectly safe when installed by a competent licensed solar electrician. Micro inverters on the other hand, are the size of small paperback books and they're installed on the back of each individual panel. So, for say a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system made up of 20 panels, you'll have 20 micro inverters along with them. Micro inverters convert DC to AC at the source, meaning there's no high voltage DC running through your roof at any point in time. It's all much safer AC electricity instead. And this is why I use micro inverters for my own home. Parts of my home are made out of straw bales, seriously. <laughs> and I didn't like the idea of high voltage DC running through those straw bales. In Australia, in 2020, as far as I'm concerned, the only game in town when it comes to microinverters is end phase. One core advantage of microinverters over string inverters is that it makes every panel independent of each other. So when one panel is shaded, it only affects that panel. In a string system, when one panel is shaded, the whole string of panels can go down. Kind of like when you stand on a hose. Because microinverters have this panel level optimization, you'll also find that you can get as much as 12% more energy out of a microinverter system over a year compared to a string system. It also means that you can have panels facing every possible direction, whereas with string inverters, you can only choose two, sometimes three directions per inverter. Now, let's talk about optimizer-based systems, which as I said, are sort of a hybrid between string and micro inverters. In a system that uses optimizers, you have both the big string inverter on the wall, as well as individual optimizers on each panel. So, you get essentially most of the same benefits as a micro inverter-based system, but with a slightly different technology. Now, for many years, Solar Edge was the only real optimizer-based system on the market. But there have been two big entrants to the market that have been challenging Solar Edge's dominance. They are Tygo optimizers and Maxim integrated panels. Tygo optimizers work with any inverter, whereas with Solar Edge, you have to use a Solar Edge string inverter with the Solar Edge optimizers. And with Tygo, you don't need to optimize the entire system like you do with Solar Edge. So, if only two of your panels are shaded by, say, an aerial, then you only need to put a Tygo optimizer on those two panels. That brings significant cost savings compared to Solar Edge. But bringing even more significant cost savings to the market are Maxim integrated panels. At the time of filming, early 2020, the only brand of Maxim integrated panel that is sold in Australia to the best of my knowledge are the Seraphim MX panels. Maxim integrated panels have three tiny chips embedded in the solar panel itself compared to Tygo or solar edge optimizers that are bolted onto the back of the panel. And these Maxim optimizers bring most of the benefits of other optimizers at a fraction of the cost. Now, 
do you need this panel level optimization, PLO, at all? Or to rephrase, do you need to spend extra money on panel level optimization? If you have a simple roof with no shading issues, then in my opinion, it's much harder to justify the extra cost of panel level optimization. But it's up to you whether it's worth a few grand. If you have a complicated roof with lots of different faces, with or without shading, then PLO is well worth it. If you have a simple roof with small shading issues, Tygo optimizers will give you the best results for the lowest cost. Microinverters and Tygo stroke Solar Edge, but not Maxim, also offer panel level monitoring. Trust me, this gets boring fast, but a small percentage of owners can't get enough of it, so it may be worth considering being able to monitor the power of each panel individually. 